get rid of Luma. Yeah. You know, lots of those shenanigans. And right off to FD, not wasting any time. Ditton versus Napster. They also got some similar names too, man. This is going to be a fun match to commentate. <laughs> Let's see some Luma boxes. All right, trying to get the down smash there to get rid of... Uh, <laughs> You see what I mean, though? You say it's not going to happen, but those Lumas, very easy All to right. mix up. We now confirm that Nitten is the one with the active Luma. Still got it. But Napster is the one with the damage racked up. All right, now Napster has this Luma, but Take how long for? You can tell that Nitten is getting really hungry to deal with these uh, early Luma kills. Because... You know, as a, as a Rosalina playing the ditto, you know that you don't want the other Rosa on the field for very long. You want yours on the field exclusively. Your Luma, yeah. It's, uh, it's always a scary thing when they have the Luma, but you do not. But despite that, uh, it's actually interesting. Nitten has had his uh, Luma for... Nitten still has his original Luma, if I recall. Whereas... Uh, Napster has lost his already twice. Right, Which kind of shows in their uh, percents right now. Napster trying to get something started, but with no Luma, really, I think the best option in that case is just to try to back off and wait for the Luma to respawn, like right there. Now that the tables are turned, he's got a little bit more of that stage control before he got back on and got some pretty good damage as a result of it. Yeah, Nabster is very good at getting those offstage kills, but in getting that down smash there to seal out the stock. Good stuff there for that coverage. And now he's got a pretty decisive lead. Yeah, full stock, and now just racking on some more, <laughs> uh, more damage. But Nabster is not out of this yet. He's got this good edge guard going. If he can keep this going, he can take this stock without taking too much of that extra damage. And, and that Luma down there is going to do it. There we see why Nabil is one of the best edge guarders in NorCal. His offstage game with uh, Rosalina is just fantastic. Second, I'd say, to probably Trevante. But no. please tell me I'm not the only one that saw that. <laughs> the, the dueling forward airs. It, it's, I mean, we're watching Dittos. Dittos with every character are very, yeah, very silly. I love when that happens to Ditto. It's like synchronized swimming. It just looks like everything, you know, falls together very beautifully. It's just that clash of wills. And earlier it looked like Nitten had the lead, but now Navster has taken a decisive comeback. Yeah. Doing a very good job. Also got Luma back. And Nitten, no Luma on deck, so he's got to play this very safe. Right, I like that there. Just opting to go for a quick punish to get rid of Luma. But right away, as soon as he gets it back, it is gone. Oh, yeah. And here we see the Rosa that controls the Luma is the Rosa that controls the throne in this matchup. Napster going very ham, though, there. Put him in a very dangerous situation. Thankfully, Nate did not get a smash there. However, it could have been a much worse punish for Nabil having gone off so far off the stage. And Napster likes to use the laboring hitbox at that neutral air because on the last hit, it does have a pretty high amount of knockback. So if you're close to the side blast zone, you just run the risk of being clipped by that really strong hitbox at the end of it. Yes. Right now, Nitten having the green Luma, Napster having the blue Luma, and the down air is not quite going to take it. Very Taking good job too. Nitten. Again, just going out for the Ooh. massive. Being Edge a little guards. bit uh, cheeky, maybe trying to go for that side B. It might have been a missed input, but uh, ends up getting punished very hard for it by Napster's back air. Yeah, you don't go too hard like that because then you end up eating your own words. Like, okay, you know, okay, fine. Point taken. All right, I won't go that far out again. Like, okay, you win. I wouldn't mind seeing them both go their secondaries in game two. I don't think it's going to happen, yeah, but uh, have one of them go. Nitten would be going Charizard, but yeah, they're not going to do that. Not. You start with the ditto. I'm pretty sure they're going to be ending with the ditto. Yeah. They seem to be very comfortable playing that. Like, it's, it doesn't look like either player dislikes playing the ditto. Yeah, it's just a matter of they which one gets it. their momentum and gets rolling first. And that is going to be Napster's Luma right now. Kind of thankful for that, so we will not confuse the Lumas ourselves now that they're going to be different colors when they all come back. And again, Nit is doing such a good job of keeping Luma under control. 
Yeah, any time that Napster's Luma comes back, it's almost an instantaneous removal, save for a few situations just like that right there. Yeah, and this game is playing out very much similar to Game 1, although this would be the timeline split right here where Nitten lost Luma. And, oh, and he goes for the in missed input. He, it looked like he had a forward air, I believe, um, rather than going for that up B. I was, about to, say, that, there. That, I was about to say, that looked like a missed input. Yeah, it was a flub, unfortunate. All right, up air juggle is going to stop at 2. All right, more jabs. And in advantage state, right above him. Yeah, the oh, big yeah. thing in this matchup is to beat, you want to beat below your opponent. Yeah, man, these Lumas are just going at each other. Oh my god, like, just back and forth, left and right. It's a Luma slobber knocker out here. Oh yeah, people talk about uh, Star Cross lovers. We've got Star Clash lovers right now. Yeah. All right, now Mitten has his Luma back, and Napster not too far behind, but Clips the Luma out deep and manages to get him. Nitten sending Luma out on a mission. Luma not being successful. Gonna go again. Get him with the Trixies. And now we both have two Lumas. The up smash from Nitten is gonna take it. They are both very close now. And a little bit of the, no, a little bit of flare on the returning sock there. I like that. Okay. All right, up throw, trying to get him into the juggles, but Naps are doing a good job of Yang out of it and air dodging away from it. Yeah, just covering those landings very nicely, which is an important thing in this matchup. Whoever can stay below um, has so much more control in the game. Because if, if you stay below, then your enemy Luma will land first, and you have a better chance to punish the enemy Luma and get rid of it. Among just being able to up your opponent. All right, up smash. Good punish on that dash attack. And now both Lumas are gone. Yep. It is down to the Roses themselves to finish right. the job. Solo Roses, who's going to be the best? I don't think either of them will be able to seal out a kill before Lumas come back. And yeah, that has to be expected. And the Beal has stage control ledge. right now. Yay. Ooh, reach it out far with that back air. Dang. The winner is... All right, so 1-1 one, one on the Rosa Ditto. Exactly. Very uh, very good stuff there from, well, no, it's not 1-1. One, one. It's uh, a, wait, did, yeah, that was, that was just Navster sealing it oh, out. Oh, okay. Yes. My bad. I, 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 it's easy I, to confuse the